Hi Crochetters of the World. In this tutorial we will work together this um, hexagon motif. It's uh, 3D because as you can see the flower that we have here it's worked with um, front post double crochets and the rest of it is worked with the back post double crochet and it gives this so so beautiful um, 3D, uh, 3D dimensional dimensional um, look. Now here I have a um, cover for for chair chair cover and I don't know I just went on I began it with a um, thicker cotton yarn and I just went on and I did this but of course you can work it with any kind of yarn thinner or thicker and from my point of view if, if you want to work it with a thinner yarn you just ha can work um, different uh, hexagons and put together and work a nice blanket or um, if you want to work it that like this with a thicker yarn you can put two together and work a uh, bag or cushions or um, why not carpets so it's it's very very versatile project and I'm sure you will you will um, make very beautiful project with it but uh, I just let you to the tutorial and you'll see it's really easy to do nothing difficult and uh, I'm sure you will like it so to begin this beautiful uh, motif, really really beautiful. So I work it with, uh, I'm working with a 5mm hook and a nice and thick uh, cotton yarn. But uh, from my point of view you can work it with a smaller hook and a thin uh, cotton yarn. Uh, for example, um, suitable for a 2.5 to 3 millimeters hook or 3.5 millimeters hook uh, yarn. Uh, you can obtain so many beautiful hexagons that uh, they can be uh, put together and create so many beautiful things. So depends actually of the thickness of the yarn, uh, how large or small you want to make them these hexagons and what do you want to make so you can make pin cushion, you can make so many beautiful things. So bags, actually with this large one just put two together uh, and you have a nice bag. Okay, but now let us see how to work it. Now I have one, two, three, four and five. I need five chains to begin. I will insert the hook into the first chain and slip stitch to join. Now I have my um, ring here and I will work three chains and two more double crochet around my circle. Okay, now chain two and now we, you will continue on like this for the first round you will work a total of six groups of three double crochets with a chain two in between them and for the last chain two single uh, for the last chain two space i will be back to show you how to work it so i finished my almost finished my first round and I have six groups of three double crochets and I have only five chain two spaces and for the last and the sixth actually we will work like this chain one so only one yarn over insert the hook into the third chain of the beginning chain three pull up a loop and now work a half double crochet which means we will yarn over and pull through three loops together and this is how you will finish each round until the end of this pattern. Okay, now to begin, you will begin each round actually with a chain of three. And this is my first uh, double crochet. Now, on each group of three, we will work, we will begin to work with the front post double crochet. So all the pattern is worked with front post double crochet for the petals and back post uh, double crochet for the space in between. Now for the front post we just insert hook like this and 
pull-up-a-loop loop and work your double crochet. So around the post actually of the uh, double crochet. Now we will work in each group of three double crochets on into the first, around the first and the last we will work an increase. And for the six rounds we will work like this, an increase on the first and on the last. Now this was the first and this was the second for the increase, okay? So around the post of the same double crochet. Here I have, I work two double crochets. Now in the middle I work just one double crochet and then into the la around the last but from now on the petals are worked with the front post double crochet. So only front post double crochet. So now instead of three I have five on my group of three double crochets. Into the chain two space I work one double crochet chain two and of course one more double crochet and I just want to continue on like this all around for this second round and as you can see from three I have five. I almost finished the uh, third row but around but I only want to show you how to finish actually so now we have the chain three here and we have to make the the chain two space but as you can see here we worked one double crochet chain two one double crochet and here we have only one double crochet which means into the same chain two space of the previous row we work one double crochet and of course we will finish as we finish the first so with a chain one yarn over insert the hook into the third chain of the beginning chain three and work nicely a half double crochet okay now let me explain you a little bit the um, construction of this um, beautiful uh, motif now on the uh, groups of three we will go on and we will work as you can see into the second round we had five so we increase on one side and on the other side and uh, on into the first and into the last double crochet always work only and only front post double crochet so we have five double crochets and these are the petals on the group of three uh, we um, develop the petals and we work them all with front post double crochets. Okay, now we have five, into the next we will have seven, and then nine, and eleven, and thirteen. And we will uh, finish increasing uh, with thirteen, so which means into our sixth round. Okay, now let us see a little bit the chain two space. Here, for now we have one double crochet, chain two, one double crochet, but but we still go on increasing on this um, part two of the pattern, okay? So we increase on our patterns, but we increase into the chain two space two, because in each round we actually work into the chain two space one, double crochet, chain two, one double crochet, which means in each round we will have on one side and on the other side of the chain two space more stitches, one more actually, we will add one more double crochet. And these double crochets will be worked with the back post double crochet. So. We already have one and one, and these two will be worked with the half double crow with sorry with the back post. Oops, with the back post double crochet. Okay. Now, let's see how. So we chain three, and this is for the double crochet chain two double crochet. It's actually the second double crochet of the double crochet chain two. Okay, so always when we finish into the chain two of the previous round, we will work a double crochet and the chain two as you seen, uh, as you saw with uh, one chain and half double crochet to begin and to finish. Okay, and now we have the, the chain three of the previous round, which is the double crochet that we will work back post. For the back post, we insert the hook from the back, we work around the post of the double crochet and we go back on the back post and we just want to work 
our double crochet normally. Now we are on the petal and on the petal we work front post and we begin with by working two around the post on the first which is one increase then we continue on working uh, here we have three more until we reach the last one and around the last one we will work two so we will work again and increase okay so that's all we just have to increase increase and increase until we have 13 front post double crochets one and two okay and now as i said before instead of seven instead of five we have seven one two three four five six seven okay and here on the chain two space we have one and one the first one work it back post into the next we will have two and so on to work as back post okay now it's a little bit strange here but we can used to it okay now this is the first now into the chain two we work one double crochet so as you can see we add always add one double crochet chain to one double crochet so we increase and we work this one as a back post two and we just continue on like this so actually we have six per uh, two sequences so this is the sequence of the petal which is worked with the front post and this is the sequence of the corner let's say which is worked with the back post okay so into the corner actually into the chain two we always work double crochet chain to double crochet but all that is on one side and on the other side on this corner we work as back post okay continue on I will be back to show you one more round I almost finished, I just want to explain you one more time. So we have the double crochet here and we want to work it as a back post. So don't forget about this thing too. And as we worked this one at the beginning and into the chain two we double crochet. So actually we have the corner split it in two, okay. Now chain one and work your half double crochet now to begin another round round we chain three as usual and now as you can see we have two here so these two are to be worked as back post double crochets and then into the next we will have three and so on okay three on one side and three on the other side of course so we work these two at at the end we will work these two so as you can see we have two into the chain two we will work double crochet chain two double crochet and two more back posts okay on the petal we have now one two three four five six seven so we will continue on to increase which means we will have nine into this uh, fourth round Okay, so I worked two and then I just want to continue on to work my double crochets, front post, double crochets and into the next, don't forget to increase one more time, four, nine, front post, double crochets on each petal will be in this fourth round. Okay, this is the last. So I just want to work my increase so around the last I work two more so now I have my nine double crochets front post double crochet and as I said before here on the corner we work one and two as back posts then into the chain two space that all that we have until we reach the chain two space we, we work as front back posts then into the chain two space we just work the increase one double crochet chain two one double crochet and as you can see into the very next we will have three to work as back post and we will work these two as back post and now this is the sequence that we have to uh, complete for five more times 
actually a sequence is one petal and one corner okay now we will repeat this for two more rounds so this one and two more so into the next we will have 11 on our petal into the next we will have uh, 13 and we want to stop there and for the from the next we will begin to decrease and actually if you want to make it larger uh, you can make a nice carpet too uh, so if you want to make it larger instead of uh, stop with uh, so finish with six rounds of increasing you can go on and increase for how many rounds you want but the rule is that as many rounds of increases you have you must have exactly the same number uh, of decreases and uh, just just complete the two rounds three actually with this one that we have more and I will be back of course to show you how how it goes with the decreasing rounds so I actually finished the increasing part I have six rounds as I tell, uh, told you first and 13 double front post double crochet on one petal four back post double crochet and of course on one side and four on the other side on the corner and of course one double crochet chain two and one double cro crochet in the middle actually so this is what I have as I said there are six rounds one two three four five six now I want to stop increasing here and to begin with my six rounds of uh, decreasing. Now what I want to say is that you can continue on increasing exactly in the same manner and uh, when you decide to stop increasing you will begin with the decreasing part and you will have exactly the same number of, stitch, uh, of rounds to complete with the increases. And let me know why. Now I have 13 here into the next so into the first decreasing round I will have 11 I am talking all, only about the petals because here I will just continue on exactly the same so I will increase I will have one and one one on one side one on the other side more uh, back post double crochet on one side on the other side of the corner so here it's exactly the same thing we don't change anything but on the petal we change so we work uh, 11 we will have 11 one decrease one decrease from 13 we will have 11 into the first and then 9 and then 7 5 3 and 1 which means exactly the same number of um, rounds we have to complete okay so of course uh, into the last round we will work an increase uh, three together so from uh, three we will work one so it's eleven nine seven five three and one six now let me show you how to decrease let me show you yes how to decrease and then we will continue on so chain three now work your five now we have five to work five uh, back post for the corner into the next we'll have six and six and so on so uh, on the corner we, we continue on increasing okay nothing changes for the corner only for the petals this is the nice part okay now I work my back post double crochet and now I will begin with my front post and I want to decrease over this first two so I decided to decrease like this around the first one yarn over pull through two and remain like this yarn over go around the second yarn over pull through two and now we have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two and first decrease made now I will just continue on working one front post around each of my uh, double crochet of the previous round until I reach my last two stitches and I will work a decrease over my last two stitches too and this is what we have to work so instead of increasing into the first and into the last we will decrease we will decrease over the first two and over the last two in each round until we will have three more left okay oops here I already worked I don't want to increase okay and now these are my last two so I will insert the hook around my second to last 
and work just a half of it, uh, leave the loop on the hook, around the last, yarn over pull through two, now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over pull through all three loops and that's it, I will just continue on working the corner as we normally work it, so I will work my five back posts. And this alternating of back post and front post, it's really, really nice and it can give so many beautiful uh, motifs. Okay, I'm working my back post. Oh, uh, there is one more thing. And here, as I, as I told you before, into the chain two, I just double crochet, chain two and double crochet. And I ran out of yarn. It's a yarn. Okay, I have to add some yarn. It's a yarn or uh, eating this uh, yarn eater. Sorry, this uh, this pattern. Okay. Now I will uh, go on for until I reach five or three. Okay, so I will be back uh, to show you from three how to decrease. Okay, so the rest you just continue on exactly as I showed you before uh, until you reach until you have. Uh, five remained on one petal. So I'm back. I went on for 11, 9, 7, 5. Four rounds because now I have five here on the petals. And here without the corner, I always uh, tell you the number of stitches without the corner. So only the stitches that we worked uh, as back posts on the corner one two three four five six seven eight so eight and we begin with five the first round from increase uh, from the of decreases that one with eleven one two three is this one one two three four five five six seven eight so there are four rounds of decreases and uh, I just continue on. I have two more rounds. I just want to show you how it looks. More really beautiful. I just I'm just curious the the project that you will come uh, you will come up with because you can make anything you want. So it's only your fantasy the limit. So from bags, pin cushions, or um, cushions, um. Uh, tablecloth but of course with uh, smaller who can thicker thinner yarn and so many beautiful things actually so now I will just chain three for the first and I will begin to work my nine because I had eight into my fourth round my nine front po uh, back post sorry so can you see what happens if we stop increasing actually we we begin to decrease on the petals but we still so we continue on increasing on the corners just have a nice effect now let me show you something. So this is my la latest decrease, my last decrease into the previous round. And when we decrease now, we decrease this, this seem to be two, but this is only one stitch here. So this is the problem when you work with the front post. So we, um, we insert the hook around both posts okay because it's just one stitch but there are both uh, two posts so this is one and now the next is this one okay so just take care when you work now I have one more here to work and another decrease and the same thing now I have one and here they seem to be two but it's only one because if we look here we have only one stitch so around this one first like this and around these two so always we will have like this okay and then I will continue on with my uh, back post double crochets and so on for this second to last 
uh, second to last round so just wanted to show you how it looks look at it so so beautiful now just finish this i will be back to show you how to work the last in decreasing round okay so i'm back i not only finished uh, the round but i also uh, began the last increasing round the sixth round uh, uh decreasing sorry and i just worked my back post double crochets so the part of the let's say of the um, corner because in this round i just want to show you how to decrease three together because we have only three left one two three and is the fifth sorry not not the sixth this is the sixth round and to decrease three together we just want to insert the hook again around both posts because here we have we have one stitch but here there are two posts so around both and this is just one stitch okay leave it leave the loop on the hook yarn over insert the hook around the second stitch and leave the second loop on the hook yarn over around again we have two posts but only one stitch and we have four loops on the hook keep them tight yarn over pull through all four like this and now we can continue on with the back post of the next corner and we just go on and we finish like this our last um round of the pattern you just can continue on working of course uh, some more rounds but only with back post so you will just continue on working back post here you will work one front post and then you will, you will work back post as you wish you can work directly back post as you wish here okay now let us just let me just tell you again that i, I will work some more rounds and uh, just to make a cover for my uh, my uh, chair so it's really really a wonderful and versatile uh patterns the pattern motif it's really really beautiful so i worked with six and six you can work it with seven and seven or eight and eight or uh, depends on how large you want to do it as i said before i you can work it with thinner yarn or thicker to work a carpet so it's you it's you to decide now that's it don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss a uh, video and um, see you at the next tutorial bye bye